Hello everyone, it's System, and this is Rustic Waters. Hope everyone is well, having a basic day. I myself, truly fantastic, really good day, and uh, we're gonna get back to this pack here. Just kind of push forward. Uh, in between episodes, I did not do much, and no, that's not a meme. I keep getting that meme linked into my comments, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely not. I went ahead and made uh, four more strainers, so I did that. Just, uh, you know, have that stuff going again. And the only other thing I did was uh, up in here, an introduction. I did these two quests, so just three fabric meshes and then uh, 16 goo packs. So I got that done. These are just like optional quests that get you a little bit of extra money. So I got 10 bucks from that one and then I guess 10 bucks from that one as well. So I think we have like 30 bucks right now. We're not, we're not looking too good with money. <laughs> I just keep spending it, man. It's just, uh, just a thing. Not even sure really what I want to spend my money on right this second. But uh, I'm sure we'll come across something before too long, and I'll just go, hey, I want that, and I'll probably grab it. So, definitely a thing. So, anyway, what we're going to get to today, we're just going to jump into it, because like I said, I didn't do much. I want to start working towards the Sea Moth. So, the Sea Moth is the vehicle that is in this pack. Not exactly sure how we're going to power it yet, but I want to get to the point where we can actually make this thing. Then we can uh, look at how it powers and uh, how it works and all that jazz. Really don't know the ins and outs of it yet, but... The only thing we really need to get this going, it looks like, by looking at all the recipes, for the most part, is um, steel plates. So we're going to end up needing steel plates and uh, metal solder. So I think we're going to start working towards that kind of jazz and then working in that direction, which means we're going to have to get into a little bit of immersive. And I think we have to go to the nether at some point as well, but uh, we'll get to that when the time comes. So I'm going to clean up my inventory here and uh, we'll probably start jumping into some of these recipes here. And working towards this vehicle. I don't know if we'll get it today. Actually, probably not. But uh, we'll head in that direction either way. So let's uh, let's get her done. So I just forgot to hit record there. But I went ahead and made some of this, this uh, solder wire. So yeah, I've been forgetting to hit the record button a lot lately. But anyway, uh, this solder wire is uh, something we're going to need. It's one of the things, right? We also got a melted solder bucket as a reward. But to make this stuff was pretty easy. You just uh, pulverize down some lead and some tin. Uh, two to one ratio and then you take that and uh, I pulverized it down in here So I was just jumping on this thing for a little bit You could use that as well. That one's just a little bit slower Then you just run it through here do up the recipe and you're good to go So nothing too special with it But uh, this is gonna be how we go ahead in time and make these melted solder buckets So it actually tells you in the quest line there It actually is really hard to look up with JEI and the way you actually look it up is from the melted solder bucket itself and to actually be able to make more bucks of this, you had to take some of the solder, solder wire, so six of it, in a bucket in the engineer's workshop, and then you actually get a bucket of it with no liquid. It just kind of like magically melts it, melts it down in the table for you. It's a little strange. Like, I could go ahead and do it right now, right? I could just go, we only have six right now because I only made enough for the quest. But uh, it is done like that, maybe? Uh, maybe? <laughs> Why didn't it actually take it? Uh, let's go to uh, solder here. Here we go. There, there you go. It's weird that it does that. Sometimes like I have to actually shift click the recipes in for them to process. I don't know why it does that, but anyway. And uh, there you go, melted solder bucket, just like that. That's how those are done. And uh, you'll need this for a lot of things, I think, kind of moving forward. I think there was like a lot of uses for it. It's not even showing it rest, uh, properly, I guess. Maybe you have to look at the solder itself so I get a use on that. Yeah, there's 18 different recipes that this uh, is going to be required for, so. Move board, we'll need a fair amount of this, but it doesn't look like you need a lot of liquid. Looks like 100 millibuckets or so at a time. So definitely something we'll need moving forward. And, uh, we know how to make that now. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, work on this kiln. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that process. We have some of that coral reef here. Someone was telling me too, this coral reef actually makes the bonsais work better. I may have to try that out. I may have to go grab some more in a bit and uh, see if it actually speeds it up and uh, gives it better drops. Cause I don't think it actually like tells you Actually, it does. Growth time, 75%. Drop chance, 110%. So that is definitely better than our inner bonsais, and uh, I should be using that. So we'll have to go and grab some more. I just don't know if we have enough right now. And uh, We need a little bit of this uh, dry reef here and kind of get to the next part. We're going to make this item here. It's called the kiln. So we go to kiln here. Actually, that's, let's not go to kiln. Let's go to electrum, because that's going to be one of the materials I need. And we're going to look for the, uh, which one? Immersive engineering. Go in here, go to use on that, and uh, it's going to show us all the different alloys we can make with this kiln here. It's a little 2 by 2 multi-block, so it can make a uh, constantan, so just like that. It can make it with like different kind of mixes of the materials so you don't have to process it as much. Also, it can do electrum, 
It can do Invar. We're going to need a bunch of that for the uh, Seamoth. And uh, I believe it could do Bronze as well. So it can handle quite a few different alloys for us. It's kind of like the whole purpose right now. So that is the idea. And I think we're going to need a little bit of uh, clay as well, right? So let's go ahead and grab... Where's this done? Is this done? Not here. I want uh, this clay. I forgot which table this has to be done. Yeah, I don't know why these recipes are here. Some of these just seem kind of tedious. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why we have to take this to the Trader's Workshop and run it through there. When What's the difference? A single item recipe? Just, just let me do it on the workbench. But anyway, definitely a thing. And uh, we'll have to go ahead and uh, do some bricks as well. So we'll just get a bunch of bricks going. And then we should be pretty much ready to go on this. So the kiln itself is four bricks and five of the dry reef for every two of these. And how much is that for dry reef? We basically need four recipes. So we only need 20. So it looks like we already have 20 just on us, <laughs> which happened just by chance. And then we're going to need uh, 16 of these bricks. And then we'll be able to set up the kiln. So that'll be good. Then after that, we're going to have to set up the, what is the next one we're going to have to work on here? The Coke brick? Yeah, we're going to have to need a little more bricks for this. So I'm going to end up needing more dry reef anyway, and some Camonite brick as well. And uh, we actually did Camonite yesterday, right? So let's go ahead and uh, grab some of that. Probably get that smelting as well. <laughs> just get everything kind of queued up here and just going, man. We just, uh, we have a lot of stuff to do. So anyway, let's grab that. There we go. Apparently that was a quest. So anyway, we got that for free. And which table is that? That was in the blacksmith's workshop. So let's go ahead and uh, we actually have all our buckets filled right now. So we're gonna have to go ahead and make one more bucket. There we go. Then we'll go ahead and uh, be able to move over some of that purified water. Hopefully I have enough right now. I don't know how much I have left in here, but we'll just uh, see what we can do. There we go. Then go ahead and uh, see if we can get this done. Blacksmiths, right? That's blacksmiths. What am I missing? I'm missing a trowel. Oh, I haven't had to make this one yet. So it's basically two sticks and two pieces of metal. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of iron, probably two sticks. There's always another tool with this mod, man. I have to say, there's a lot of um, different tools with uh, this artisan work table thing. So have to uh, adjust that. But anyway, uh, the trowel was like this, right? Was this kind of weird recipe? Yeah, right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Then we can go ahead and uh, pop this puppy in there. Where did I get the Envire one? Must have been a reward. But anyway, that's good. And finally, we should be able to make the actual kiln blocks. There you go. There's our multi-block. And uh, we can set this puppy up. So to set this thing up is super easy. Probably set it up out here somewhere where we have a little bit of room. But it's just a two by two multi-block. So just something like that right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab this reward here, the engineer's hammer. Then you take that and you just right click on it. And uh, there we go, the multi-block forms. And we have to make any of those alloys now. We could just put one here, one here, a little bit of fuel, and it'll make it for us. So that is awesome. So I think the next thing I need to do actually is go ahead and grab some more coral. So probably gonna go ahead and uh, run down to our little elevator down here. Probably this, uh, which one is down? I can't remember. This one's down here, it looks like. There we go, <laughs> go down super fast. You guys are telling me usually in uh, 1.3, and up, I guess, you hold shift. So I'm gonna try holding shift down here and uh, seeing if we don't take damage. Yeah, we don't take damage with shift, so that works. And uh, I guess I just need to hunt down a little bit of coral here. And uh, we have a ton of time anyway, so it's not even a big deal. I'm not even sure what you use on this. I guess it is a pick, so I guess we'll use that. But uh, I'm just gonna grab us a little bit of coral here and uh, get this done, man. Just uh, get all the stuff and things that we need. I might as well grab some of these too, like this uh, regular coral. I think it's called coral, right? This is called Coral Reef, and this other stuff is Coral. The regular coral I saw that you could smelt down for slime, and there was a recipe that we actually need for slime, I think, later too. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bit of that. Then we'll head back up, man, and just uh, move on. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, actually get these things switched over here too. So we might as well get uh, better, uh, I guess, uh, fertilizer in here. That'll make our lives uh, a little better. it just uh, produce a little better, right? So. Anyway, let's go ahead and just uh, pop them down, throw in some of the actual coral, and then we should just have to uh, put our saplings back on. So there you go, and there you go. So this thing was already producing at a pretty good speed, but now it'll produce a little better. So that is actually pretty awesome. So that is cool. Let's go ahead and uh, head this way. Uh, so I could start working on some Electrum too. So what is Electrum? I actually forget. Electrum is gonna be, um, it's gonna tell me here somewhere. <laughs> just need to hunt it down here. 
Oh, JEI is so messed up in this pack. So if I go to Electrum, right? So let's go to Electrum here. Go ahead and go to, not Thermal. We want to go to the Immersive one. Check that out. It's gold and silver. So let's go ahead and uh, set up a little bit of gold and silver here. So we got uh, that much. Let's do like, how much would we need for a full set of armor? I guess that much gold as well. There we go. Because it will double up, right? So each one's going to make two. I guess each recipe. And uh, we can just take that, and uh, I guess we can grab a little bit of fuel here. I got some uh, blocks of charcoal on me, so that actually already works. So we'll just take like three of those, pop those in there, pop you in there, pop you in there. And that'll actually start making our Electrum. Then we'll be able to uh, make this arbor here. I'm trying to remember which quest line had that too. I think it was on the one for our uh, wetsuit. So that would be diving in. It tells you here, actually, certain metals conduct heat better than others. Although you can install cooling gel in your armor, environments such as the nether, right? So this could be armor for the nether, will quickly start to heat, um, will quickly heat you to dangerous levels. I totally read that wrong. But anyway, however, Electrum Armor offers superb cooling capabilities. So basically this is gonna be just a, a little cooler armor for the nether. So that is why I'm trying to get that done. And I just wanna kind of have it all ready and good to go. So we're just gonna get it done kind of at the same time. Cause uh, we had to do the kiln anyway, right? So. Go ahead and uh, grab, what do we need here? We need coke brick right now, and uh, we need purified water, and uh, we need the blacksmith. So hopefully we got uh, enough purified. So let's go in here. How much do I have left? Not much, man. Let's go here, let's pop out in there. Sweet, and then just uh, see if we can actually queue up the recipe, right? Uh, we need some actual bricks, so we'll probably get that done first. That would make a lot of sense. Let's do that. How many recipes of these are we gonna need too? We need, I guess 9, 18, 27, we need 27 of them. So we're gonna get two per recipe. So half of that is gonna be what, 14 recipes of this? So let's grab 14 of the bricks. That should be good. And uh, see if we can actually get everything queued up here. That looks good. And uh, I don't think we have enough water though, right? Actually, we have enough right there. That's actually perfect. <laughs> we have a whole half a bucket left. So that actually works out. So let's actually uh, go and set this up somewhere. I don't even where, know where to put this, to be honest. But anyway, we'll put it right here for right now. It's actually easy to move around, but you basically just set up a three by three with it. So just uh, something like this right here. There you go. Cool. And uh, again, just the same thing with the hammer. Just kind of bonk it in the front. Only difference with this one, I think it has to be the center block. So we'll just hit the center block. And whichever side you hit it on, that's the way it'll face. So this is it here, super easy machine. Basically all you need to do with this is throw in, oh yeah, it has to be actual coal, doesn't it? Let's go grab some coal here, because uh, we do have a bunch of that. Coal would be, if I was coal, I would be right here. You get this, uh, the actual coal. Um, I guess you could mine for it, I just haven't gone mining it. But uh, I've been getting all of mine uh, from the actual uh, sluices, right? Not the sluices, the actual uh, strainers. There you go, I'll figure it out sooner or later. But basically this is fuel that we can use in the blast furnace to make it so when we make steel, it's gonna be way faster. Also, as a byproduct, it's gonna give us free creosote. So it's a way of getting us creosote without having to do that other recipe. So in time, it'll be uh, pretty sweet. It does take a little bit of time. You can see here, it's not going very quick, but uh, I guess I really would speed it up with the acceleration one if I wanted to. I'm just not very concerned. Uh, we got some other stuff to work on anyway. There we go, there's our electron armor. And uh, we should be able to make all of it though. We only needed those two pieces, right? But we can go ahead and grab that one. Then go ahead and grab that one. And uh, that should be the whole set. There we go, got the quest completed. Uh, thermal conductivity, which is uh, pretty cool. We're gonna get a couple of uh, goo packs, which is great. And uh, what is this one here? Oh, it actually wanted you to make the rest here. I don't know why they broke it up in two quests, but whatever, that's fine. Don't forget to activate your goo packs in the hot bar. So we have some ways of cooling down when we actually get to nether, because uh, we have these super cool drunk, uh, drinks here. I don't know how you make these ones though. How do you make these drinks, the actual cool ones? Uh, cool drinks? <laughs> Let's see here. Let's go to flask here. There we go. Tan, go to use. I just, I want to go to this right here. Nope, I just want to get use on that. So to make the cool ones, we take, uh, yeah, just packed ice and uh, filled tempered flask. So they're actually really easy to make, but uh, that is cool. That is just uh, two more quests kind of out of the way and uh, just done, man. We, uh, we actually have a set of arbor that doesn't look totally goofy, but we're going to take that armor and kind of set it aside. Uh, that'll be for the nether. That is a uh, nether arbor right there. So that is pretty cool. And uh, I don't know how this is going here. Probably not even through one block yet. Not that it really matters, but uh, it does take a considerable amount of time 
to actually make this stuff. So you want to start this stuff as soon as possible. So, so you have your cool coat going because uh, otherwise you're going to be waiting around a long time. Uh, next, we're going to work on here, though, is going to be the actual blast brick for the uh, blast furnace. So this is going to be the one that actually makes the steel. So I need to make sure I have everything, and I'm just going to get that together here. So we're just going to need a little bit more of the uh, Hamnite blend there. So we'll go ahead and get that done. There you go. Went ahead and made some uh, purified water. It's so easy with these golden buckets because you can just make four buckets at a time. It's part of the reason I wanted the second one, to be honest. But uh, is that enough of it there? We've got 40. I think we actually need 48 of the bricks, so I'm actually going to need a tiny bit more. Let's go ahead and uh, grab another 10 sand. There you go. I said 10. Let's go ahead and grab you. And then we would need uh, 10 clay. That should give us enough of it. So yeah, definitely uh, going through a fair amount of resources here. But at the same time, not really that big a deal. Just a lot of smelting, a lot of processing at this point. But uh, once it's done, it's done, right? So we don't have to worry about it. But uh, we have that, we have that. We also need a little more of the uh, magma shards as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, toss these puppies down. Go ahead and just uh, cook these puppies up. Because uh, this is that. I like the feel of the progression of this pack, I have to say. Like, it, it's a little bit of stuff. And it's a lot to kind of keep track of. But you're always doing something interesting. Like, it doesn't seem like overly tedious. At least not yet. I could see that these tables, like if I have to do a lot of stuff this way, the entire pack could feel a little um, grindy, I guess. But I guess I could just bulk craft too, right? So I could just craft things and just giant, you know, <laughs> giant batches and then I don't have to worry about it, right? So maybe I'll end up doing that. Also, I guess once we have a way of getting money better, right? A lot of the stuff, like even like the Cam Knight, I could just get that, right? So that'd be just done. I could just pay for that. <laughs> I wouldn't even have to make it if I didn't want to. I think we could even do the solder this way. Yeah, we actually do the solder that way. So that'd be another one taken care of. Even the tools for the machines, like we could even just buy those. I think you can farm money just for mobs. I just, we just haven't got there yet, man. I've been just too focused on being able to kind of travel around the world so we can actually explore a bit. So yeah, we'll definitely get to it at some point, but just looking forward, you might be able to do a lot of this just with cash, which is pretty awesome when you think about it. It just uh, takes away a lot of the grind. But anyway, I just need a little bit more of these bricks and then we'll be good to go. So that should be everything we need for the rest of these blast bricks here. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out. We need uh, 28 again. So I had the right amount in there, so that's cool. And again, this is uh, another multi-block. So we'll go ahead and uh, kind of polish this one off. I'm going to reorganize everything in here, probably in between episodes too. Because uh, we're getting all these machines and stuff now and we're going to run out of space really quickly. Like look at all this wasted space in here. <laughs> but anyway, we'll just uh, do it for this way i guess do it this way right now because it doesn't really matter too much but uh yeah i will definitely have to clean this up because quite frankly it's a mess but anyway this is the blast furnace so just another machine here and the whole purpose of this one is to make steel so it's really the only thing this one does so let's go ahead and grab a little bit of iron here do that and i don't know if we have any coal coke ready yet so that is a thing i think it's more efficient too if you do blocks so let's go ahead and grab some blocks here let's uh Let's grab a couple. There you go. May have to process some more materials. Do a little more sluicing here in a little bit. But we'll probably deal with that when the time comes. And uh, I'm still waiting on my first piece of cold coke. It takes forever to actually make whole coke. Now, I think we can. Let's try it out here. I'm pretty sure you can. If you do, let's pop that in there. And uh, grab some charcoal. Let's go ahead and get some of that real quick. I think you can use charcoal. I think it's just really inefficient and uh, yeah, not the uh, best idea. But uh, I think the uh, coal coke is way more efficient. But I mean, we have infinite materials, but I mean, we could do this. Yeah, but I think I think it takes longer this way and I think it takes more coal. So I think we're gonna burn quite a bit of uh, charcoal doing it this way, but at least I could start the process because we actually need a fair amount of steel. And uh, I think we're actually locked down for a little bit. I may have to um go ahead and maybe do a little bit of sluicing and uh, a little bit of uh little of this jazz yeah just sluicing and getting some materials maybe some smelting because i got some time to burn right now <laughs> honestly because everything we need to do right now i think it's got uh, got to do with steel right yeah i think like pretty much everything yeah and i think we're gonna need a little bit more iron anyway so i may go ahead and just do a little bit of processing and then we'll come back and uh kind of get this finished up here so I've gone ahead and I've done a little bit of processing. So we got a little bit of the cool coke now. It's just kind of producing. Also went ahead and grabbed this fluid allocator. So we were using it for water before, but I just set it to input from the side here. And it's actually automatically pulling the creosote that is actually produced because it gets backed up really quick. 
But uh, it already has 11 buckets there. And I also threw down the dual crafter. So I could basically do this. So I could just kind of craft it up super quick. So I can go ahead and grab four buckets. I can pop that in there. And bam, I can just kind of get that liquid kind of out of the way and uh, turned into um, this stuff here. The actual uh, treated wood planks. Really simple. So it's just a nice, easy way to do it. So I'm just going to leave that there. Kind of let that produce, which is uh, pretty cool. We also have, I guess, seven blocks of steel here. But we also have this byproduct. So this byproduct here, slag, I was looking at it. I was like, what did we do with slag in this pack? It looks like we can actually do our reinforced armor with this. So we may jump ahead and actually do reinforced armor before we do anything else because I think I have pretty much everything we need. The only thing we really needed was a ton of wool. So looks like we need to make this ashen fabric and I think it said we needed 22 of these. And to be able to make these, we need the fiber mesh, which I think we used for the last one. So I already burned through a lot of my wool doing that. So we have the blocks, they're not a problem. But the blocks of wool, I wasn't able to turn into regular string before. But now we have this grinder, so I was able to do it. I actually have 44 of these uh, woven cotton, and I think we're actually pretty good here. I just need a little more wool. And uh, these just come in the strainers, man. So yeah, that is cool. <laughs> Super simple. Just uh, kind of worked itself out by uh, checking some recipes here. So we should be able to get this done. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and uh, get this going. I might have made way too many of this, didn't I? Maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see either way. Go ahead and grab that. And uh, see what we can get going. So we need, let's see here. We need, I guess, only 11 of these fiber meshes. Maybe I overdid it. Maybe not. Uh, we'll see. We need 11. No, we're just about spot on it, it looks like. Yeah, okay. We had just an, uh, enough of the woven, so I was right there. That's cool. Then we're going to go ahead and actually make the, I guess, the uh, fiber meshes next. And uh, next, I should say. And just get them going. And uh, they actually double up, so I have way too many. Either way, we'll need this stuff. I always math things wrong, man. But anyway, go ahead and grab that. Then we also need the rubber sheets. I just don't know if we have enough rosin right now, but uh, we should be able to grab that really easy. So, so I've gone ahead and done a bunch of processing here. So you can see here, we got a little bit of uh, cocoa, not very much of that, just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take that, pop that in there. See there, we already have eight blocks of steel. So the steel doesn't take that long to make really, but uh, we can use the cocoa anyway, but we get this byproduct as well. I saw we can use that for something. So we're gonna do that in a few seconds. I just wanna get uh, a little more steel going. There's like a quest to get like two stacks of steel. And then there's uh, another one for like two stacks of the cool coke. Not the blocks, but the actual like uh, single pieces. So you need a bunch of that stuff either way. So I must as well just kind of keep producing it. You know what I mean? So anyway, just do that. I did do uh, some more sluicing and stuff as well. But uh, we're going to go ahead and probably jump ahead, I guess. And uh, start working on our next level wetsuit. Because I saw we could do that with the slag. So I've gone ahead and made some of these. These are rubber sheets. Uh, rubber sheets there we go we've already made those they were not a big deal so just a little bit of the rosin we have tons of that sap so it's not even a big deal then i went ahead and made a bunch of where is it here the stuff here fiber mesh i went ahead and made some of that as well and that wasn't hard either and all we really need is 22 of this ashen fabric and i think we legitimately have everything we need and then we can go ahead and just make our better wetsuit so <laughs> let's just get that done man like I said, I've been just processing, going kind of crazy, but uh, I mean, it's just time, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, hunt down the ash and fabric. Here we go. Hopefully we got enough durability, but I think the quest was for 22 of them. There we go, we got our ash and cloth. Go ahead and grab that, we got five bucks. And that unlocks everything. And I think the rest of the stuff is just a simple uh, combining. It's just literal, literal just combining what we have already. Hopefully it lets us do it with uh, lower durability. Because uh, sometimes that's an issue. Uh, let's see. I think it was just... No, that's not it there. I'm looking at the wrong recipe. I think this is for repairing, maybe? And this one is for crafting, right? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it the right way. So, we go in here. Do that. It is going to grab it. So, that is cool. So, we actually already have the uh, flippers. There we go. Go ahead and grab that real quick. <laughs> there you go. And uh, what's that do for us? That is 22% more speed, which is pretty awesome. Grants more production than regular gear. So not too special. Then I guess we'd need the legs next. So we go ahead and grab that one. And uh, that one should probably kick in in there a second. There we go. We got that one. That one is just uh, more control underwater, which is uh, pretty cool. And I guess the last two will be the hard ones. Uh, we'll need a couple turds. <laughs> and did uh, tempered glass. 
I giggle every time I say turds because I have to say it like it's like a legitimate thing. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and grab you. Like it's just normal, man. Just grabbing my turds. Just uh, getting my turds, boys. Just gonna pick up them turds. <laughs> just like it's a normal thing. Anyway, uh, we need the right recipe here. Let's head over here. There we go. Go ahead and grab that. That I handle the mask, which is uh, cool. Which uh, just toss that on. I've already gone ahead and did uh, two more of the copper gears and one more recipe of the adhesive. So we do one more recipe of the fluid pipe. And I believe I have lead on this guy, right? So let's go ahead and grab that right there. And look like the same recipe again, basically to make the tank. So we should just about have everything. So let's uh, head over here. Looks like this one, there you go. I am missing a piece of the tempered glass. So let's do that. Actually, we might need two of that just in case. <laughs> so we don't have to run back one more time. There we go, get that one. And then hopefully we can just run over to the engineers. And oh, I forgot about aluminum plates. We have everything but aluminum plates, guys. <laughs> I'm a total derp. But anyway, it's not a big deal. I mean, I did most of this myself anyway. I just don't like making you guys watch me craft constantly unless we're doing something new, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and toss that in there. Wait a couple seconds. And we got a brand new suit, and this one is 240 seconds, so plus a minute. I think it uses the minute that you have by default, so I think we'll have like 300 seconds with this on. I think that's how it worked with this one. This one was like 180. Yeah, I have 180 when I go in the water with this one. So this one I think will be literally 300 seconds, which is five minutes, which is basically a bully potion. So yeah, pretty awesome and uh, really useful all around. <laughs> pretty, pretty deadly, actually. Go ahead and grab that. Yes, I say deadly too. You younger kids, you younger guys, you younger fellas, you, you don't understand deadly. Deadly actually used to mean cool. It used to be a thing, man. Yeah, I, I'm a Gen Xer. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead, grab this. I guess I'll just get called Boomer, even though I'm not a Boomer, I'm a Gen Xer. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Toss that on, and uh, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and jump in. Anyway, let's go here and see how fast we are. Oh, this is actually way better. We actually move around considerably faster. Plus when you're doing like the uh, strafing and stuff, you don't do the, all that sliding. I'm not sliding around at all anymore. And uh, that is amazing. So I didn't even think we were gonna get into this today. It just kind of happened by chance. And that is really cool. <laughs> Why does the time seem low though? Like, did I have to wait to that fill up or something? Wait a second, let's jump it here. There we go, 300 seconds. There we go, that's exactly what we wanna see. And uh, that's legitimately five minutes in the water at any given time. So that is actually really cool. <laughs> that is really awesome. And I've uh, got a lot of quests too, except there, except my inventory is uh, totally clogged. So let's drop something off here. Kind of see what we're gonna get for rewards. Cause like I said, I've been processing stuff all over the place. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got. We got 10 bucks, which is nice. Let's go ahead and grab that. We got uh, five bucks. So that is nice. We also got Sensor display. I don't know. No, don't even know what that one's for. We'll look at that one in a second. And we got a enchanted book. Uh, Depth Strider 3. That's actually a really good one. Remember, the larger the tank, the longer you must surface in order to for it to automatically refill. So it must uh, automatically refill over time. I, I had never noticed that before. But uh, once we have an enchantment table, we'll definitely use that one. And money as well. Since I was actually doing the um, sluicing, I had a whole bunch of coins in there, so we actually have another 54 bucks. We're at $100, man. We're rich. We're, we're legitimately rich right now. So everything's just going to come together with this pack. And once we have this uh, this Seamoth and some power, we're just legitimately good to go. Display properties of distant blocks. Like, what mod is this? Let's see here. Sensor. That is from Cyclic. But how's it work? Energy being measured. Oh, we need one of those linking things. We'll use this later on. You can actually like, yeah, you can like check energy, fluid amounts, items. It'll just track uh, what's in something. You just tell it to track using, I guess, let's go to cyclic here. Where's that little thingy? I think it's this, the GPS marker. Yeah, I think we got to use that. But it doesn't look like we can craft it in this pack, so I'm not sure how we're doing it. I don't know. We'll figure it out when the time comes. But uh, we can't use it right now, I don't think, unless it uh, directly connects to like a liquid tank or something. Guess we can check that real quick. So uh, this has liquid in it. Nope, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Let's try this one. Do that, set it to fluid. Yeah, it's not doing nothing. Uh, although it's not connecting right either. So maybe that's the thing. 
But I don't think it's gonna it's gonna work here. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Normal percent max energy. Leave it on fluid. Yeah, I I think we need a GPS marker for that. So we'll kind of check that out uh, later on, I guess. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, probably wrap this one up here. I think we're at the point where I can go ahead and actually craft the sea moth. It's going to take a little bit of crafting. I need to make all the components, all that jazz. But the second I make it, I mean, we're going to want to use the thing and sail around, explore a bit. So I want to be able to do that in the, probably the next episode because that's probably another like full episode right there. Just making it, uh, figure out how to use the batteries and then, you know, sailing around. I guess whatever. We're just, it's not sailing. But anyway, definitely the thing. It's going to be a whole episode. So I think it's a good idea to kind of wrap this one up at this point. I mean, we did get our steel production, our coal coke, and our, our new set arbor here. So that is pretty fantastic, even if it uh, looks a little goofy. I kind of look like a Lego man. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but we are going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. So as always, guys, uh, like this episode, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. We well, guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next episode. Later.